Hey guys, it is Scott the Steen Roller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. It is Tuesday, the 24th of September. It's MLB for one more week. We got a dandy here tonight, so we're going to talk about it in just a second. Right after you guys hit that like button, throw that thumbs up our way. As always, I uh, salute your efforts. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take this opportunity to do so. Ring that bell and get notified every time we put up brand new content. And check out winnersandwiners.com if you're looking for a second opinion on this game or any other. Free previews, predictions, and picks every single day, every single game. Make sure you check it out. It is a great resource, once again, for free. And, of course, while you're there, if you want to grab yourself some premium plays, make sure you do that. And you can use that discount code right there that's crawling across the bottom of your screen to get yourself a 40% discount on any and all premium products at Winners and Winners. Dot com And naturally, if you're looking for a new sports book, if you just moved into a state with sports betting, or if it just got to your state, or if you're looking for a brand new book, we got a great deal with our partners over there at BetMGM, the king of sports books, up to $1,500 in bonus bets when you get signed up there for, if you're a, a new player. So make sure you take advantage of that. Of course, there are terms and conditions. You got to be 21 to play, got to be legal in your state. And naturally, if you have a problem, with sports betting, make sure you get help. A good place to start right there is 1-800-GAMBLER. All right, guys. So uh, we are recording this just as the Cincinnati game is underway. So we don't have a report from my prop bet. I know some of you liked it. And some of you wanted me to put a side or a total out there. Well, here's the deal on that, kids. Uh, I do a lot of shows during the week. I do a lot of shows with winners and winners. I do a lot of national radio spots. I've given out my side um, on this play. So it's there. Um, and my total, well, that's my premium place. So um, there you go. So that's why we go for a prop. I do like that prop. And, uh, you know, sorry we went down in the weeds with a little bit of uh, sports betting math there. For those of you that aren't uh, aren't fans of that, just want to hear the fat man give a pick. Fair enough. All right. So you know what? That's what exactly what I'm going to do tonight. Taking a look at Cincinnati and uh, Cleveland, the battle for OHIO. It's the Reds and Guardians. Jake Junis goes for uh, the Reds against Tanner Bybee for uh, the Guardians. We're going to play the underdogs here. That's the Reds. We're catching a nice price at plus 142, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, you know, this is the time of year where we start talking about motivation for teams. Who has it? Who doesn't? And who's just trying to stay healthy for a week and get their rotation in the right order? Now, the Guardians, they may have some motivation. They're currently pretty much locked in to the two seed there in the American League. They're just two games behind the Yanks. So do they want to try for the best record? Both the top spots get by, so I'm not sure how motivated they are there. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked at all to see some of the uh, banged-up guys, questionable guys, get a little rest. And I wouldn't be surprised to see some spots in the rotation get skipped in order to set up their rotation for that five-game series. Now, the Reds, they haven't had much motivation for the last couple of months. But you know what? They've been playing decent baseball lately. They've gone 12 and 8 in their last 20. Wasn't good enough for David Bell to keep his job after they extended him last season. Oops. Um, but they got a jump on the offseason market as they fired him on Sunday night. So there you go. Uh, one thing Bell did do right, and that was put Jake Junis back in the rotation after they acquired him from the Brewers. Uh, JJ's made just four starts for the Reds, but he's been really good. He's given up three earned runs total in those four starts. And it works out to a 193 ERA and a 0. .71 whip. On the other hand, Tanner Bybee, well, he hasn't uh, been having much fun in his home start since the beginning of August. Four starts, two in August, two in September, 540 ERA and a 141 whip. I'm not sure how much difference a manager change makes at this point in the in the in the season. They're promoting their bench coach to manage the last six games. Okay, um, and I don't know how hard Cleveland's going to push for that one seed. But here's the deal: I don't think it matters. I think we've got the pitching advantage in this one, um, and that's what I do know. I do know the Reds have been playing decent baseball. Junis has looked like a man on a mission since he stepped into the rotation. Bybee struggled at home for the last couple of months. We're getting a good price here, almost three to two on this play. And I uh, I think we've got a good shot to win it. I, I put this more in the plus 118, 122 range. So we're catching some decent value there. I think this could be a nice spot for a win. So let's uh, let's go ahead and lock that up. There is the 
official play if you'd like to see it. That is going to be Cincinnati plus 142 uh, against the Cleveland Guardians. And at the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, guys, as always, thanks very much for watching the video. Tell your friends, share it if you want. And, of course, come back and see us tomorrow. We'll, see, we'll talk about how we did then. Good luck to everybody. Have some fun. And we'll be back next time. Talk all about it. Take care. We'll see you then.